Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Conway flashlight. It's M21B with GTFC40 High CRI LED. And here are some photos how it looks. And as always, I'll post a link to video description where you can find it. Today I have another Conway flashlight, M21B, and I would call it EDC flashlight, at least for me. So it uses high CRI GTFC40 LED. I already did the review of the flashlight with the same LED, it was S11, you can find the review here. And I will be comparing it to that flashlight. So first of all, the design of this flashlight, it uses orange peel reflector. It has cooling fins, which are quite deep. Typical Norlink for Convoy. And tail cap with the switch. So inside we have 21700 battery. I used Molly cell in all my tests. This flashlight uses 10 amperes of current. This side has contact without a spring. And the tube has two threads, which are both anodized with seal rings. So design is quite simple, it's not very big flashlight, but not a pocket size flashlight. But I can take it to my pockets, so. And here is S11, with the same LED, just this has color temperature of 4500 kelvins, and this one has 1800 kelvins. So this was the lowest, you can get the emitter from Conway. Size difference, not much, almost the same. This one has narrower body and different head. Well, this one is like cylinder. And now let's compare the beams and the color tint. I hope it does not roll. Yeah, so here is how the beams look. And you'll see it later in item shots. So one thing about those flashlights, they both use the same LED, but S11 has approximately 1800 lumens, while this one I measured 1200 lumens. And my guess is that this is because of the color temperature. Maybe not, but I think it's because of that. Also, both flashlights get hot quite quick. They have temperature protection, so they will step down when the temperature reaches above 50, 55 degrees. But keep in mind, with turbo, be careful, because they can still reach almost 70 degrees. And the UI is the same on this as on this one. It uses Biscotti 
firmware. We have 12 groups. You choose the group and then you just press the button as other convoys and tap to switch modes. Turn it off and it has memory mode, but you can turn it off if you don't like it. So quite good flashlight. I like it. So that's it about the UI, about the look of the flashlights. So now let's see how they compare and how they do in the dark. See you there. Sorry for interrupting, so here we have test in the fog. So you can compare yourself how these lights compare and is it worth to get the lower color temperature for the foggy conditions. And my car is with only fog lights which are way below the fog.
I hope you enjoyed those item shots. Now, as always, we have random graphs. So first, M21B with GTFC 40 on all modes. It has brightness stabilization and on turbo temperature protection kicks in. And also I made another set of graphs showing difference between S11 and M21B with the same LED GTFC 40. So you can compare yourself and as always link to those graphs will be in video description. I hope you enjoyed watching my review guys. So final words and my opinion about those flashlights. They are quite the same. Size is the same. Design is different. It's up to you what to choose. This one uses 21700, this one 26650. Both have brightness stabilization, temperature protection, memory mode uses the same Biscotti firmware. This one with 4500 kelvins and this one with the lowest color temperature of 18,000 kelvins. So I tried to do the test in the fog and I was lucky that when I was filming nighttime shots it was very foggy in the field. So I would say that there is no difference uh, based on color temperature in the fog because with both lights you cannot almost see anything. Yeah, maybe if there were other conditions or the fog would be less dense than it was when I was filming, maybe there would be some difference. But the stronger you shine the flashlight, the harder it gets to see anything. So I think that lower color temperature for fog is a myth. So please let me know in the comments which one you prefer, which color tint is better for you. And if you will ever even consider this color tint. So thanks for watching guys. If you like my video, please leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe and see you next time in the next review. So thanks for watching and goodbye.